Hello, I'm Bob Hardesty, a board certified plastic surgeon practicing here in Riverside, California. Today's topic is when is the right time to do a facelift? Well, first of all, a facelift is a broad category. It can be broken down into the forehead area, the brows, the eyes, the cheeks, the mouth, the jowls, the chin, and the neck. So, to diff some people, a facelift is doing everything at once. To others, it can be segmented as we discussed. But the decision is, when is the right time? Well, it's like, when do you decide to paint your house? Do you wait till the um, plaster's falling off, the p uh, paint is peeling, uh, and, or do you wait and do it when you say, ah, yeah, let's do a preventative measure. So it all depends on your philosophy in life. So we have a number of things that we do along the journey. Starting from non-invasive, minimally invasive, to minimally incision surgery. So, to start the perspective early. First of all, you can win the genetic lottery and never have to have a facelift. You, you are in the bell shape curved and you're over here where you don't sag and don't lose collagen. But most of us, like in life with everything, height, weight, intelligence, are right in the center of the bell curve. So what happens biologically? As we age, we lose collagen. When we lose that collagen, the skin tends to sag more. Also, this could be sped up by smoking and sun exposure, life experiences. So, the things that we can do that are non-genetically is stay out of the sun, wear sunblock, take care of our skin, and rejuvenate. If you look at men, most of us men who shave, and right now I have a beard, but when I do shave, you'll look, I'll see very little wrinkles. Why? By going ahead and shaving, I'm stimulating the face for collagen. That's why coming in to see our estheticians, getting on a good skincare product, including Retin-A and Hydroquinone, that takes, around, takes away brown spots and stimulates collagen. Then we can go to the next step, lasers. That can go ahead and tighten the skin take out the uh, wrinkles. We can go ahead and do radio frequency, thermi, that will sh shrink, the sh shrink the skin. Then we can move on to minimally invasive uh, 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 procedures, like making small incisions in the brow, putting in a little endoscope about the size of a pencil lead, and bringing up the brow through small little incisions. We can do a mini facelift small incisions in front of the ear. Then we go on to the full facelift where there are completely hidden incisions that you can't see. The hairdressers often don't see them. And we can tighten the muscles, lay back the skin, put some fat where the cheeks have uh, atrophied or the fat has gone away. We can go ahead and make the lips natural because as we age, the lips tend to turn in. So when is the right time to do a facelift? Or better yet, when is the best time to start facial rejuvenation. I say in the 20s. Getting on a good skincare preventive program is like changing your oil regularly on your automobile. It's preventative. It makes things last longer. But eventually you need to get a new automobile after a couple hundred thousand miles. That would be more of the uh, uh, minimally invasive or the more minimally scar uh, incisions when we do the facelift. So please come on in. We'd love to see you. I hope this gave you an overview. Uh, and I look forward to seeing you here at Imagine Plastic Surgery.